here we are, Ink Slake, and I have like I tell like I was telling you today earlier on, I, I I I was I felt like I was gonna get a little disappointed with it. Because yeah. one of the things that I like to do is is hike. Mm-hmm. And when it's you know, ninety eight degrees it's kinda hard to hike when there's limited shade. You know? Yeah. But today us going to, and I'm going to use a map because I don't want to mess up the name. The Devil's Waterhole. I I I I enjoy today. I enjoy today because basically, yes, it's it's Texas and it's hot, but there was so much shade there. Very much, yeah. So much shade, and then you were right there where you could still swim, which is what you guys did for the most yeah. part. And I kind of just put my little Bluetooth speaker on, got my little drink, and just sat there and just enjoyed the shade because even though it's 95 degrees if you can have a good shaded space here at inks lake the heat isn't really that big of a deal it's Would not you yeah the heat was not bad once we were in the shade even like even when we were not in the water mm-hmm. we were just sitting on our chairs and under the shade it was fine mm-hmm. there was even a breeze and i think that has a lot to do with us being next to water, mm-hmm. but also because there was a lot of shade there. Yeah, like there's a decent amount of trees right here where we're sitting, but where we're posted up right now, there's no trees above us, like none. And I feel like I only appreciated this area when we were sitting out here last la- last night. But the, the night before. the night we got here, when we we're sitting out here, and you could see all the stars, mm-hmm. like very, very, very yeah. good. Because this area has no trees right here, and it's the perfect place to just stargaze. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and... Also, to put tents right here. I feel like mm-hmm. a lot of tents can go right here. Yeah. So, for me, um, today really made a difference with this trip. Just because, you know, like, even baby boy's like, hey, you're not going to bring your camera? It's like, well, let's be real. You know, when you're used to seeing the Grand Tetons, and you're used to seeing just the Rocky Mountains and Big Ben, it's like... The hills, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but it's not, it doesn't have the same type of impact as those places that I just mentioned. But if if you were to ask me if I w- would I come here again, I would. Mm-hmm. The only thing that I would do different is I would ask for a campsite l- more closer towards the Devil's Waterhole. Because it seems to me like those are the ones that have a lot more like full shade. For sure, and maybe not so much shade on the actual camper, but just shade on the like in the area of the picnic area, like the barbecue yeah. area. I wouldn't even mind renting out what they have when you first enter the little mini park. cabins. Yeah, they have mini cabin mm-hmm. cabins, and they have an air an AC in there, mm-hmm. and there's some like right there off the water. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, with uh, lots of trees. Yeah, I, like I said, I I, I would come back. I would come back just because, like I said, today, you know how hard it is for me to idle. And just being under just the canopy of trees and the vegetation. And then, you know, even the people here are, like, super nice. You know, like, yep. the, 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 the people that are visiting the park. It's just, you know, the people from Houston, the people from San Antonio. Mm-hmm. You know, and it, it and it, it, it's so much more, it's such, uh, such an opposite experience. Yeah. When it comes to, you know, when anytime we visit anywhere in Texas, as opposed to like we said, like, you know, how many times have we talked about Idaho? <laughs> Poor exactly. Idaho. You know, it, and it's just, I don't know if it's just like, it's like, you know, it's just the people are so nice. You know, people are way, <laughs> people say hi. Well, I feel like a lot of people that come to these parks are Texans. Like, yeah. they're not mostly traveling from another state to go have a summer vacation in Texas. That's it's true. just too hot. Yeah. So, all of these people camping here are probably like, Texan suburbia, you know, like or this is their backup because they were supposed to go somewhere else. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So yeah, but they have those little mini cabins and they have the window AC units, but they have a lot of campsites down there, more towards the, the Devil's Waterhole, um, where you can they have a lot of camp. The heat is basically you'll you'll notice it, but it's not like Houston humidity where it's like even under the shade you're hot. Mm-hmm. So the yeah. Devil's Waterhole is like part of Ink Lake. Mm-hmm. It's basically a little nook of it at the top corner or the bottom corner. Uh, let me pull out the map right quick. Depends on how you look at it. Yeah, let me let me pull up the but map. But it has like a little nook, and 
where we were posted up, there's a trail so to get actually, to it. Sorry, I don't mean to catch you off. So it's actually called the Spring Creek Delta. Mm. And basically, the way they describe it on the map is that a very shallow part of the lake caused by a delta formation from sediments carried into the lake by Spring Creek. And it's perfect for fishing, swimming, and as a ca- kayak canoe destination. There was also some people doing wakeboarding too. We, yeah, we saw all of that and the, the boards. Yeah, and then they have... How, 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 how tall did you think that, that jump was? It looked like the top of it, the very top, 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 would mm-hmm. look like 50 feet. Yeah, so you can climb up and you can actually jump we're going to say 50 feet, but I think it's a little bit lower, but whatever. Um, you can jump off that rock. So basically, we were posted up on one side of the mm-hmm. of the devil's water hole. Yeah, on and the on side th- of it. on the other side, there was this ginormous boulder rock. Mm-hmm. And on top of that one was another rock. Mm-hmm. And the very top of that was like about 50 feet. Yeah. And there's kids crawling up there at the very tippity top and just jumping off in mm-hmm. to the water. And I was like, I feel like jumping off, but not that high. So I just went to like the initial halfway, halfway yeah. and did like three jumps off there. Yeah. yeah. And each time I felt my knees buckle mid air. I was like, ah. <laughs> yeah. And baby boy had a good time too. He was a little timid originally. He's a good swimmer. Yeah. You don't give yourself enough credit, yeah. little little Jahan. Yeah. He did really good. He yeah. Had what is it called? Noodle? Is that what it's called? It's called a noodle. Yeah. A noodle and he noodle swam. Float. swam. And you were right there with him because I don't know how to swim. <laughs> so, I know. I'm shaking my head, y'all. He doesn't know how to swim. No, I do not. I had to give him my noodle and he used it in water he could stand up yep. in. Yep. That was my so- my so- psychological safe haven. And I was like, like the mask? <laughs> 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 yeah. So... Not funny. Uh, okay. In, in, well, some people might not think it's funny. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. But um, so it's 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 you know it, it was it was a nice time today. And then this morning I got up around seven o'clock, and I did about a seven mile run. And the difference between this typical run, this run, uh, the runs that I usually have back home, is that I was actually climbing rocks and, and you know, off roading so to speak. It wasn't painful. And no trees. They had, they had a little bit of trees. But it was so early enough to where I could still be covered by, you know, the, the, the hills that I was running. So the hills were, were, were providing me with that cover from the sun mm-hmm. to to basically allow me to run. And the, th- the ones that I ran today or the, the trails that I ran were... So I s- basically what I ended up doing is I ended up parking near the entrance mm-hmm. of the park. And then I went south on the lake trail. And then I went down the Woodland Trail, and I actually did the Woodland Trail twice. Remember the, the trail that I was showing you on the side of the road? I actually ended up doing that tri- twice, and that's a 2.2 loop. And then the Lake Trail, when you do it all together, it's 1.2 miles. So I basically, once I got to the Woodland wo- Woodland Trail, I ended up doing one lap, and I said, yeah, let me do one more. So I did one more, and then I ended up going on the west side of lake trail because when i first came down i was on the east side of it and then once i ended up going north i ended up going down low i ended up going west on low fisherman's trail which is basically right on the side of the water like Mm -hmm. literally right on the side of water and yeah and then i ended up taking i guess it divides and it goes north um up it's called upper fisherman's trail and that's about half a mile and then I ended up kind of taking it because for whatever reason, like Woodland Trail and Lake Trail were really good, were well marked for whatever reason. I mean, you could see like the little green dots on the actual trail right. that tell you, hey, green, because that's what's labeled on the map. It, this is the Lake Trail mm-hmm. and then the blue for it being the Woodland Trail. Mm-hmm. But when it came down to Lower Fisherman's Trail and Upper Fisherman's Trail, it was like, oh, man, like, is this part of the trail? So I found myself second guessing myself, even to the point where I actually ended up taking a wrong turn. And did like a little jog down the main road until I got to my truck. What was what's been your favorite part about Inks Lake? Um, I really liked. Actually, yesterday was a really good day too. When we got ready, we did the cavern. But I'm talking about just Inks Lake itself, like the actual. Inks oh, Lake just Inks Inks Lake Park. Inks Lake State Park. 
Okay. Um, I really love being in that water. Yeah. Being in the water is my favorite part. It just felt so... It felt so much better than a pool. Yeah. Felt so much open. There was a good amount of people there, but we were all had our own space. Yeah. And the water was so fresh. There was pockets where the, it was warm, you know, from the sun. But I wish you knew how to swim because you would you would love it. Like so in the middle part where it's deep and you have to swim. And that part was actually fresher than the... Yeah. Because even when I was coming in, I was kind of surprised with the fact how fresh the water was. It's colder in the middle. Wow. Yeah, it's colder. And when you go underneath the water feels so good wow sounds like i missed out <laughs>